general rules for good health the context in which an individual lives is of great importance on health status and quality of life health is maintained and improved not only through the advancement and application of health science but also through the efforts and intelligent lifestyle choice of the individual and society here are some basic tips for maintaining a good health number 1 Do not put toxic things into your body. Many things people put in their bodies are downright toxic such as cigarettes, alcohol and abusive drugs are also highly addictive making it hard for people to give them up or avoid them. If you have a problem with one of these substances then diet and exercise are the least of your worries. While alcohol is fine in moderation of those who can tolerate it Tobacco and abusive drugs are bad for everyone. But an even more common problem today is eating unhealthy. This is promoting junk foods. If you want to gain optimal health, you need to minimize your consumption of these foods. Probably the single most effective change you can make to improve your diet is to cut back on processed packaged foods. This can be though because many of these foods are designed to be extremely tasty and very hard to resist. When it comes to specific ingredients, added sugars are among the worst. These include sucrose and high fructose corn syrup. Both can wreak havoc on your metabolism when consumed in excess, though some people can tolerate moderate amounts. In addition, it's a good idea to avoid all these trans fats which are found in some types of margarine and packaged baked foods. Number 2. Lift things and move around. Using your muscles is extremely important for optimal health. While lifting weights and exercising can certainly help you look better. Improving your appearance is really just the tip of the iceberg. You also need to exercise to ensure your body brain and hormones function optimally lifting weights lowers your blood sugar and insulin levels improves cholesterol and lowers triglycerides it also raises your level of testosterone and growth hormones both associated with improved well being what's more exercise can help reduce depression and your risk of various chronic diseases such as obesity type 2 diabetes heart disease Alzheimer's and many more. Additionally, exercise may help you lose fat, especially in combination with a healthy diet. It doesn't just burn calories, but also improves your hormones level and overall body function. Fortunately, there are many ways to exercise. You don't need to go to a gym or own expensive workout equipments. It's possible to exercise for free and in the comfort of your own home. Just do a search on Google or YouTube for body weight workouts or calisthenics for example. Going out to hike or take a walk is another important thing you should do especially if you can get some sun while you are at it. Walking is a good choice and a highly underrated form of exercise. The key is to choose something that you enjoy and can stick within the long run. If you are completely out of the shape or have medical problems, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor or a qualified health professional before starting a new training program. Number 3. Sleep like a baby. Sleep is very important for overall health and studies so that sleep deprivation correlates with many diseases including obesity and heart diseases it's highly recommended to make time for good and quality sleep if you can't seem to sleep properly there are several ways you can try to improve it don't drink coffee late in the day try to go to bed and wake up at similar times each day sleep in complete darkness with no artificial lighting dim the lights in your home a few hours before bedtime For more tips on how to improve your sleep, these are the best ways for everyone's good health. For more interesting health tips, please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Doctor, what is cervical cancer? If you see the genital or urinary organs, female female genital urinary organ consists of uterus, cervix and ovary. If somebody gets cancer in the cervix, 
it is called cervical cancer yeah doctor 